Hello and welcome to this demo of GoGlobal's two-factor authentication for end-user logons to protect against stolen passwords and brute force attacks on corporate systems. GoGlobal from Graphon provides reliable, secure, low-cost multi-user access to Windows applications from any location, device or operating system. Hi, I'm Andy Leonard and in this video I'm going to show you the two-factor authentication feature in GoGlobal. So first of all, we need to open the GoGlobal admin console. Once this is open, we go to Tools, Host Options, Authentication tab. And from here, we just click on Require Two-Factor Authentication. Once you've done this, we just click on OK. So to set up the two-factor authentication, first we need to do is open up the App Controller shortcut here on my desktop. So we double-click this, then we connect to my GoGlobal host. So I'm just using the local IP address because I'm on the same network. So once I enter the address, I just click on Connect. Once a sign-in box appears, I just log on with my Active Directory username and password. Once I've entered this, I just click Sign In. So the first thing you need to do is register for two-factor authentication. As you can see here, the steps on screen. Step one, download an authenticator app on your phone, e.g. You know, Google Authenticator. And once you've done that, you step two, open the app on your mobile device, so an Android device or an iOS device, and then click Add and scan this QR code. So from my iPad here, I'm going to start up the Google Authenticator app. And then I need to begin setup at the bottom here. So it's asking me to scan a barcode. Then the camera opens on your iPad or mobile device. Then you just need to scan the QR code. Once you scan the QR code, you just click on Next. So now the two-factor authentication box has appeared. And it's asked me for the six-digit code that's on my Authenticator app on my iPad. So with the Google Authenticator app opened on my iPad, now you can see here, you know, it's Go Global, and this is the user account I used to log on with. And then this number, you know, every 60 seconds will change to a secure six digit code. So now it's asking me to enter the six digit code from my Google Authenticator app on my iPad here. Once I enter the code, I just click Submit. Once it's submitted, you now can see it says registration complete, and now you can just click on OK. After authenticating with two-factor authentication, now the program window appears. And from here, you can access your applications. If I double-click Outlook, for an example, your know, Outlook now opens. The last thing I want to show you in this video is the branding part of the two-factor authentication. So those screens you saw when we registered my iPad, they were all in English. But you can also change those to a different language or just change them to a different text. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So the first thing you need to do is open up the Go Global Admin Console, go to Tools, and then go to Branding. Once you've done this, you just click on the two-factor authentication dialogs. And now you see the customizable fields here. So in this demo, as you can see, I filled in these fields with Brazilian Portuguese, just to show you the localization and also the change in text when we register again. So once you've filled these in, you press on OK. Now the next thing you need to do for me to register that user again is I need to reset the credentials. So to do that, I go to Tools, Host Options, Authentication tab, then I click on Reset Verification Code. So I can either do this on a user basis or I can do this for all the users in my organization. Since this is just a demo, I'm just going to reset codes for all users. So I tick on this top box here and I press on OK. Once I've done this, I press on OK again. So once you've done that, you need to go back to the client machine, open up the Go Global client again, and connect to the Go Global host. So we put in the IP address of our host, click on Connect, enter our credentials, and click Sign In. So as you can see now, you know we have to re-register the iPad, but as you can see, the actual text now is localized how I entered it in the branding section on the Go Global host. So again, you just scan the QR code with your Google Authenticator app on my iPad. Once I do this, I click on Next. And again, you can see here, you know, the text is localized to Brazilian Portuguese. And here I just need to enter that six digit code again. Once I enter the code, just click here. And as you can see, registration is complete. And again, it's in localized in Brazilian Portuguese. And now we can just click on OK. So again, now the program window is open, we've authenticated to our Go Global session, and we now can open an application. So if we open WordPad, for an example, 
then it opens. For more information about Go Global or to download the 30-day free trial, visit us www.graphon.com.